double up. Three or four times, I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a heart. What is up, you guys? This is Watch Watch You from Minola Dream Sign, and we got another Minola video, guys. Today, we're gonna be checking out a video on basically these two girls on the same fucking podcast. Basically, explaining to us why men ain't shit. You're gonna end up ruling the world eventually. What? I feel like women are gonna end up <laughs> ruling the world eventually. And I what? Am pro, and I am pro that because living in a man's world is boring. Men don't have nowadays nothing to offer besides money and because they don't come with real values. Men values have decreased immensely. Oh, talk about it, sis. Decreased immensely. Oh, talk about it, sis. Men value have decreased immensely throughout decades. And I don't know if it has to do with society bringing you down, but literally you guys do not believe in honor and street code, street code, street code, street code, and no type of code. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Hold on, bro. Wait, wait a second, bro. Shorty said street code, bro? Like, bro, street code, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, all right, bro. To me, this shit is weird because you said street codes as, as if this is some kind of like gang initiation. Like, like a nigga has to be a street nigga. Like, when you say the word street code, like, why don't you just say I just want a nigga with some morals? I want a nigga that 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 yeah, just has some morals. For you to say street code, it's like what the fuck? Street code, <laughs> like, bro, come on, bro. Your guys are just following whatever it is I get to the next pitch. And if you're that type of weakness, oh, I have fuck. better men. What? But if you're a man that follows no man codes and you do not live with honor, then unfortunately your manhood is Wait, hold All right. away from you. And if you what? do not realize that now, you will realize that late. Very late. Bruh, she sounds like she's very smart to a dumb nigga. Like, she sounds like... Oh girl, these both these women about to say some shit like like some real philo. They th they think they're philosophers. I, that's what it just sounds like to me. But let me. I'm I'm just gonna keep playing this shit. We're gonna get into it. Thing. What's the difference between a life changer and a game changer? I think the difference is, for example, if you do have a relationship with a guy, if he's invest, let's say if he has money, um, a man spends money on you is a game changer. But a guy who's really invested and wants to teach you things and put you onto game, that would be a life changer. So one of the many things that I see is like a lot of girls would say, you know, as long as a man is giving me, I don't care what he does, I'm, I'll, I'll stick through whatever. And I think that kind of gets old. What? Because are you saying what your man if he cheats? Yes, I not nah, keep it buck. Keep yeah, it keep it true. You know damn well you would. I have stayed, but I don't. I wouldn't stay if it becomes. Something that is well, what if he's you lying. Like, what if he's paying the bills? He's Shorty, all right, hold on, bro. We about to break this shit all the way the fuck down. You know damn well this nigga's paying all your fucking bills. You don't gotta worry about no rent. The if the lights about to go out, food in the pantry, in a cupboard. You don't gotta worry about if there's any gas in the you know, money to put gas in the tank for your car. You don't have to worry about having clothes in your back. The kids don't gotta worry about shit. I don't wanna hear no shit about you saying that you're gonna leave some nigga that's providing all that shit because he fucked one girl, bro. If the nigga stepped out one time, you you are not leaving that nigga, bro. You're not leaving that nigga. You can't, you not eventually, saying. that's not a life changer. That's a game changer. What, what that being said. So what the fuck is up with this life changer game? That. And you what? I ain't got nothing. Rent money, but rent money do. I don't think I'll leave right away. No. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Keep it true. You know damn well you would. Um, if I'm dealing with any man that I'm with, it's because I love him. That's number one. And number two, I feel like if if he is paying my bills, it's because we have already established a foundation where I have depended on him in that particular area. And like, for example, like if I'm with a guy and he cheats on me and he's paying, he's paying the bills, he done leveled me up and he's doing that, I'm staying. You know why I'm staying? Thank you. Thank you. Building. And more important, you guys have a fucking family. A fucking family. Like, look, don't get me wrong. Like, the nigga should not be. If I was to explain it like this, the way y'all kind of painting everything out to be is that this is a dude 
that is covering everything. This is not your average guy that makes 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a year while you're making 30, 40 thousand dollars a year doing STEM or whatever the fuck you're doing. And while the guy's doing like engineering or whatever, because a lot of girls don't do the jobs that are getting paid, that are paying that much money, right? A good amount of time. So what I'm gonna say is, is that if you're in this, in the room that you guys are both making similar amount of money, and you guys both have a house together, and you guys are both splitting things half and half, or he's probably paying like 60%, 65%, you're paying like 30, 35, 40, okay? Then if he steps out, I can see it being like, yo, what the fuck, being upset. But if a nigga is literally paying for literally 90 to 100%, 110% of the fucking rent, how the fuck can you be upset if this nigga decides, you know what, I wanna dick my chip in some other dip? You feel me? I want to dip my chip in some salsa today. No, I, I'm feeling, no way, nah. I, the salsa was good yesterday. Today I want to try the hummus. I want to dip my chip in some hummus today. Mmm, a little spicy. Ooh, how about how that cheese gonna taste like on Wednesday? A nigga wants to try his shit out. Why? Because when a nigga makes a certain amount of money, his options are open, bro. I don't think women understand that when they're born, their options are already a billion because they're fucking women. Why do you think porn, right? Why do you think pornography, the main consumers of porn are men, bro? Because men do not get pussy as much as women claim we do. Until whenever we get to the point that we are providing, whether we're like a ball player, a basketball player, we're making a bank, if we're a YouTuber, Twitch musician, fucking, if we're a somebody, right? Then we are getting pussy. Our DMs are gonna look like the average woman. Because niggas are always trying to fuck, we're horny ass people. We're always trying to fuck because we always are trying to fuck. Like it's just, it's just not the same thing, bro. So once when a nigga gets to the point that he's making so much fucking bread and he steps out, bro, like it's, it's, it, it honestly, it's expected. If I, if my, if my daughter, if I, when I have a daughter, I'm gonna tell her like, yo, you one day that guy cool, but don't expect that you're the only one. I'm telling you that just straight like that. If he, he might tell you you are just to sing your lullaby, a lullaby to keep you around, but if he's really making two, three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, like as long as he's taking care of you, at the end of the day, you won. And a lot of women don't think that. A lot of women think, but, but you can't be around here fucking no. Bro, if he if this nigga is really taking care of everything that you don't have to worry about shit, bro, if this nigga steps out here and there, and as long as he uses a condom, as long as he doesn't bring no bring no kids, no SEDs back to the house or no problems, no angry girls back to the house, and it, it, as long as his shit doesn't come into your life, bro, you won. You didn't take a L. These bitches are, these bitches are replaced. These bitches, he's just fucking, these are just like little screws on the wall. He's just hammering down. That needs to be hammered in. That's all it is. But you're like the main course meal. These bitches are just little entrees. You're the main course. You're the one that has the G-Wagon. You're the one that has the family, the kids, the security, the big old house, the two the two German shepherds, the, the big white picket fence, the three acres of land, the pool in the backyard, the trips, the, 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 the plane flights, the vacations. You're the clothes, the designer. You're the one that has all of that shit. All of it. These bitches are just getting dick. And maybe, maybe some Wendy's or some McDonald's. And that's it. But and if you want, if you really worry about so much of a nigga's gonna cheat, but never you're gonna don't cheat on don't cheat, then just date a regular nigga. A regular nigga that is most likely not gonna have those same options. A regular nigga that is willing to go 50-50 with you. But if you're not willing to do that, then then you need to stop going for these guys that are celebrity niggas and go for a regular guy. Niggas don't have the same amount of um of pull as a woman has off the rip. They they just don't. They don't have that. So they don't get that until they become somebody. Women, because pussy runs the world, because niggas are horny, women have that the second they're born. That's why you can take an average looking girl, look at her DMs, and her DMs are popping. You take a you take a nigga that's doing some shit for himself, his DMs are not gonna be in even 30% of what her DMs are looking like. Unless if he's a local celebrity, a YouTuber, Twitch streamer, musician, basketball player, soccer player, football player, whatever the case may be, actor, whatever it is. It is, is what it is. Start. Right? And, you know, as a woman who is financially uh, independent, I'm still staying. <laughs> 
Because you, you don't leave without a plan. You know that, right? Like they don't just get up and go. Yeah, like, that's they don't true. just they don't just be like that's true. F this chick. Like she cheated on me. Like I can agree with like, that. Cut you off for a little bit, but once they realize how much they have invested and they built with you, they staying. And as women. So I'm gonna agree with that because of this, because of there's a, there are a lot of niggas out there that don't know their worth. So I'm gonna agree with that because that used to be me. That like I would invest so much time into a girl and just like when she does some weird shit, I'm like, damn, what like I've already been speaking to her for like four or five months, whatever the case may be. And I do really want to fuck. Like, you know, I'm probably just gonna just tolerate this shit until I hit or until I do this or get the head and I'm just gonna dip. You feel me? And it's because a lot we don't have as many options as girls have or think we have but a girl's different like for a girl it's like you know like the second a nigga does some wild shit like a lot of times he's just she'll get a new one because there's gonna be a lot of niggas in her dm unless that nigga was really put applying that pressure then it's not gonna be as easy for the girl to move on but it's it's, it's, it's it, it, it the roles have reversed like nowadays it's a girl that would move on quick and then she'll be like dang like i kind of miss him and then for the dude it'll take some time for him to move on until finally he's like, you know what, fuck this bitch. And he'll just move on. Sometimes we make these emotional decisions that could be life changing. As a life changing to you ladies, if the man cheats, I suggest you leave him. Um, the only reason why you're staying is probably to get ahead. If you are using him for What's money. Wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, but just know that it wouldn't change for what you want. I think ladies should leave. I, one time, I guess, a mistake is a mistake, but. If it becomes a pattern, I suggest. Have you ever been in this position? Tell me when you have been in a position. Like, ladies, like we got a lot more options, right? So I personally am a True woman, facts. from a woman's standpoint that is independent financially. I think that you should stay. A man cheating to me is not a life changing. It's not that big of a deal, life. bro. That's not. It's not life changing until this, if this nigga has a kid with the other shorty, if this nigga gives you gives you an STD or an STI, or if this nigga if this nigga brings back this chick to your crib, not and then she wants to like fight whatever the case may be, or or she wants to do something to you, or or if you walk in on this nigga fucking in like y'all's bed and the girl's inside of his house, then that's different. That's disrespectful. I feel like, I think, it, I think you, you, I mean, if you're going to do some, some, some stuff like that, keep it away from your house. Keep it away from your girl. Keep it away from them. Out of respect. If you were to do that. If you're doing it, bringing shit back to her, or you're doing it inside the house that y'all both live under, inside the that bed that y'all both sleep in. That he's going to be a forever. Then it, that's an issue. That's fucked up. That doesn't mean that he's gonna be a forever cheater. That doesn't mean sometimes men cheat and they they understand bad boy. Don't do it again. You might lose me. You know, I'm not talking about the men that that keep our what do you call them habitual cheaters. A lot of times, yes, you can buy your way to prove you're sorry, but even when you buy your way, you could tell when a man genuinely does something because that's how he feels about you. And you can tell when a man is just buying you things because he just wants to get, make you get over it. Give me an example. What? There's no example. <laughs> what? You, just, you know your man, you know his ways, and you know when it's genuine or not. You would know. What is she saying? So, to comply, to comply huh? with what the type comply? of relationship that we have. I don't think she really speaks men, English like that. I, want to, I just want to take a second real quick and just let y'all know what y'all put us. I know we crazy. I know she we she out. says some she says some shit that's like some real crazy. shit though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of fuck with her. I'm kind of fuck with her. What? <laughs> yo, You're come on, yo, 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 yo. I'm not doing this, bro. I'm about to take these headphones out, bro. Like, come, wait, we not. <laughs> We can't sit here and act like there's some kind of female fucking handbook that we can sit and learn from as far as, damn, you know what? This bitch crazy as hell. Before I wife her up, let me study this shit so I know how to not tick her off so she doesn't fuck my shit up, she don't fuck my life up. What the hell are you saying? I, how the fuck would some dude already know if this girl's gonna be crazy or not. Nigga, I don't know that shit until some shit actually hits the fan. 
What the fuck have you been through for you to really say that with all the fucking belief in your chest? I really want to know. You got a whole mother effing handbook. What? Hear you. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? There is no room <laughs> that has been made, not yet, for the man to show us and tell us how to prepare for the nonsense y'all put us through. Bro, you have podcasts, which are definitely out here, which niggas, with a lot of times these podcasts be telling telling women to stop doing stuff, doing that, but they a lot of times they're also giving you game. You have fathers. Unfortunately, a lot of fathers aren't in a lot of women's lives. And a lot of times it's because we live in an era that now there's a, a wedding ring doesn't exist anymore. Now the form of a wedding ring is getting pregnant. We live in a world now, in a society now, that girls don't post, oh, I'm married, with their, on their, with their ring finger anymore on Instagram or on social media. They post their stomach with no baby daddy. The baby daddy is not in the picture in the back or the boyfriend holding, hugging her from the back, holding her stomach. They're not taking paternity pictures together. It's just the girl in, in a mirror on her bed. Hey, I'm pregnant. We're like, bro, we're moving backwards, bro. I'm telling you, I want everybody watching this shit right now. Sit and really think to yourself, how many people do you know post on the gram that they that and announced they're getting married? I can probably think of two people right now. But then think about how many people sat and announced that, they, that, that they're pregnant. I can think of like 20. And it, it comes to the point that Women don't understand that niggas nutting you to put you on layaway. You you're put on ice. He don't he don't want to take you serious. If the nigga did, he would have you have a fucking ring on your finger, a ring like this, a ring. You have a ring on your finger. If the nigga really took you serious, but a lot of girls don't see that. They just think, oh, this nigga's gonna nut at me, and he must he must take me serious. No, the reason why is because for a nigga to have a kid, for the girl on the opposite end, a lot of times there's some girls are like, hell no, I'm not I'm not wifeing no nigga that has a kid. But a lot of girls will do it. Now let's flip the script. You take a girl that has a kid, no man, just a kid. It's gonna be way harder for her to find a man than it is for that for that dude that has a kid to find a girl. It's gonna be way harder for a girl to get in a relationship than the guy. I promise you that. But a lot of girls don't get that. They don't understand that at first until they until they're the baby daddy and them split, and now they have to go back on the field to to find a, a good candidate to play stepdad. Like, what the fuck? Like, the reason why the nigga nuts you is to put your pussy on ice. It's to put you on layaway. I call that shit layaway pussy. It's only to keep you around because that baby is the excuse, the bridge to keep y'all in contact. It's not because he loves you. It's not because he likes you. Not all the time, but a good amount of times, an alarming amount of times. It's not because the nigga gives a fuck about you. It's because he wants to keep you around to keep fucking you. That's why. If the nigga really cared about you, but he says he did, he would have got you fucking married he would have put a fucking ring on your finger but there's no ring but fucking nut and a baby in your fucking stomach and then let alone give it a couple months maybe a couple years if you're lucky let's give it three years y'all gonna split and he's gonna move on no questions asked with his next chick and she's not really gonna care most of the time but see how hard it is it's gonna be for you to find a man because no nigga wants to wants to take on another nigga's legacy. No, no nigga, a lot of niggas don't want to take on another, nigga, another nigga's legacy. A lot of niggas don't want to, they don't want to press play from another nigga's saved story mode. Like what the fuck? Like bro, like this nigga played this game up and down the street, left this left this shit on pause. I have to take that shit and, and, and make up for all the shit that he did and, and, and press play from the story that he saved, that he paused? Fuck no, nigga. What the fuck? I'm trying to start with a clean slate. What the hell? Imagine you having a car is all modified out and then you and then it's it's all clapped up all modified damaged and you pass it to the next person right for them for them to buy for them to fuck with nigga I want to I want a car from the lot all stock nothing nothing touched nothing fucked with cuz I want to be the one to start my legacy with that I don't want to pick up some other man's other man's modifications and shit another man's project the fuck that project was this nigga starting a family with this girl that nigga obviously didn't care because he never got you. He never put a ring in your fucking finger. But you're expecting me to take up for that? And if I don't want to take up for it, I'm insecure. I'm small dick energy. I'm, I'm, I'm a bum. I'm a, I'm a bozo. I'm a clown. I'm this. I'm that. The fuck? Nah, bitch. That's fucking, that's shriveled pussy energy. The fuck are you talking? That's, that's pepperoni nipple energy. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Start this shit.
And that's why. Yeah, you can spend money on me, but teaching me something. Like, I think eventually a man has to teach you something. Y'all know I'm infamous for giving out a rundown. My top three, my top five, my top ten. But, Shanti, I gotta know. Like, because cause the ladies, are, they depend on me to give them. So I don't want to fall them short. I want to know, like, what's your top five of spotting and knowing, like, he's a good dude? And then I'm going to tell you why he's not and what to look for to know that he's not. All right, so my number one. Let me um, take a shot, cause <laughs> before I, when, when you first meet a dude, the first things I try to notice is um, number, number one, one is he a good tipper? Now when what? a man is a good tipper, Yo. so what? Because <laughs> when we <laughs> first, <laughs> when I first go on a date <laughs> with the guy, okay. Oh, you know, I'm trying, okay. when I start meeting a guy and we go on a date, okay. like I try to notice things that give me either red flags or green ones. You want and the money? One is a good tipper. Now, when you are a good tipper, that comes oh my from, um, god, you have social etiquette. So that that kind of that kind of teaches what? You. That is not dog. <laughs> that is not a word, bro. That is not a fucking word. What the fuck? Whoa, bro, that is not a word. Etiquism? Where the fuck she get that shit from? What the fuck? Well, the big words. Guys. Big words? That That's not a word. Like, that. it doesn't exist. Non-existent. Absent. Did not come to class today. Not there. Not present. That is not a word. You know, you, you, you know how to move, you know? And also, the fuck? it teaches me that you are, um, uh, what's the word for it? A giver? Or... Gracious? No. Courteous? <laughs> um, detallista. I don't know how to say in English. But, Gracious. Um, mm, you just said it. Um, anyway. Be you don't speak no damn generous. Spanish. There That's your wow. A generous man. Bozo Another ass up. One would be you don't speak no damn Spanish. Spanish. Back in the day. Shut Another up! Another one would be is, um, is, Shut up. is he family orientated? Now, that is important for me because I am Shut family orientated. Up. And I like no to do things Spanish. as a group all the time. Like, I always like to bring my peoples with me. It don't matter if it's friends, whatever. I always like to have, you know, an ambiance. And when you're not a family person, you kind of um, don't have a lot of values, you know. So that's one thing. Number three. Uh, what's up? What? If he knows how to dress. You yeah, know, what about I what the dude has probably gone through when he was a and kid? I like guys that, you know... Justice I mean, I still see her like point him. with that, but still, oh, like, you don't know what people have gone through guy, to make them not close with their family. Fuck. Um, what about respect, responsibility, <laughs> integrity, like, uh, courtesy, what does he do generosity? On the, on the date in the I, haven't, I don't the even fuck? know what to say for this. Like, responsibility. So I ain't hear none of that. All I heard was money, so money, what? money, so even clothes. Know what the fuck a new dude does? Um. Yeah, dude, what, what did and he do? And family man. And, 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 or, what did he do? Money, he money, like, money, clothes, and family him. man. That's all I heard. What's that little thing he did with his top playing with me right now? For real. Okay, I think size has a lot to do with it, you know? Of course. For me. But, um... Cut, cut, cut. Dude, 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 dude. I don't fucking know. What the know. fuck is that? You were just on my line talking about 16 ways to suck dick. No, dick. I said, what if they ask me what type of dick I like? Yeah, they tell them. <laughs> Nah, she like she would go crazy on there. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a C lady. I'm I'm spazzing. Ah, uh, number four. I don't like guys that rush to the pussy. I like when you take your time. Like, Here we go. Like I like when a guy go. kisses up on you and you know talks to you and like ease his way into. I don't like guys that just want to get straight. Can you talk Spanish to your guys? Yes, all the time. What do you say? Tell me something, cause I want to take that back mm. home. Tell me. Tell me what you say. If you want to tell our ladies that don't speak Spanish right now, something sexy to say in the bedroom. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not even gonna go into. No, that. give me, give me. I need. I don't I need. have sex. Okay. I need. I'm not gonna sound sexy right now. Okay. Well, give me something in Spanish to say. Oh. Wow. I can't talk to you. <laughs> I don't fucking know, bitch. It's a moment thing. Like this is not something I rehearsed. Like, how do you say digging me deeper in Spanish? Like, but I'm not talking. Spanish. So it's like I will say little words. Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. He don't hear that shit. Right. Like, what the <laughs> fuck am I gonna tell him? He's not gonna understand. Okay. What's number five? <sighs> number five. Give me money. What? If you don't give me money, I think that's a red flag. That's it. 
because living in a man's world is boring. Men don't have nowadays nothing to offer besides money and d money and d money and. D you know what? As I'm sitting here in this video, it came as a thought in my head. I was like, hold on, bro. She said that the only thing niggas have to offer is money and dick. The thing I find funny about that is when you was explaining the shit that you wanted, it had nothing to do with anything. Nothing had to do with nothing besides money. So if you're only looking for money and dick, if, scratch that, if the only thing that niggas have to offer is just money and dick, but then the only thing that you want really in a man, mostly 65% of the shit you want in a nigga is money, then maybe the problem isn't the nigga. Maybe the problem is within yourself. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, that's, that's literally, like, literally, you're opening to this podcast was the only thing that niggas have to offer is money and dick. And the only things you mentioned out the five things that you wanted in a man had nothing to do with anything but resolve about money. All the shit that you mentioned had nothing to do with anything but money. So at that point, I don't think niggas are the problem. I think it's you. I think the shit that you look for in niggas and men is the issue. Nothing about mentality, integrity, responsibility, respectfulness. Um, uh, is he courteous? Is he generous? Is he going to take care of my kids? Is he provider? Is he strong? Like, nothing about that. Just how much money you got? If you got money, you can take me shopping. You got a business? All right, you going to change my life? All right, bet. Say less. Say less. Yeah, I like when a guy spends money on me. That probably won't even enjoy it. Okay, I'm done, bro. Money, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this, bro. I can't, bro. I don't. I'm not. I, I don't know how, bro. I don't know how. He like you. He gonna do what? Send the bag. What? Like, share, subscribe, back. Bro, look. For and I'm. I'm. I think I'm, I'm. I think I'm gonna be a marvelous father. Right, I think I'm gonna be a marvelous father once when my kid comes out, and my daughter. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her just like I'm gonna tell her just like this. Look, no matter how much money a man's gonna give you, is not gonna show you how much he cares about you, how much he loves you. If he puts a baby in your stomach, that's not gonna show him how much. How that's not, that's not gonna show you how much he cares about you, how much he loves you. There's a lot of things that gonna show. That's that's gonna show you how much a man's gonna really care about you for real but these are the two things that i know for sure for sure that if, a, if for sure that if a, if a man does this he cares about you to some kind of extent first thing now when he asks you to hang out it's not at nighttime when he asks you to hang out it's in broad daylight broad daylight outside not in no club scene not in no bar not in no hookah lounge none of that not out, not at nighttime. It's gonna be in broad fucking daylight at a museum, going on a hike, going on some kind of adventure, going on a, it could be anything that's not a night scene. That sex can very well be on the plate, which is like a club, a night, on anything that's a night scene. The second thing, if y'all have sex, after y'all have sex, if this nigga still is having fluent conversation with you for hours and hours he likes you he cares about you because a lot of men when they bust a nut they have post nut clarity knowing me personally i want to get the fuck away like i like, I'll probably would speak to you if you're cool i might talk to you for like another 30 40 minutes maybe an, maybe an hour if we're like really really good friends but i'm not gonna want to be around you i'm not because you're not my girl but if you are my girl i can bust a nut and i would go to sleep with you I would lay down with you, talk to you, smoke with you, drink with you. I, st I still want to be with you because I fuck with your presence, with you as an individual. It has nothing to do with your pussy. And a lot of women, they think that money, money is just a way for me to keep giving you candy. So I can sweeten that pussy up for me. That's all it is. That's literally all it is. It's me just, just spitting game to you without me, without me verbally really saying much. My money's going to talk for me. A lot of women don't think that. They think, oh, well, if he gives me $200 on my nails, then, yo, he must, he, he likes me. No. The nigga's trying to fuck you. The nigga likes you when the nigga asks you, yo, you want to go to this museum? Yo, you want to go to this monument in broad daylight? He wants to hang out with you in broad daylight. He wants to hold your hand and kiss on you in broad daylight. He's not hiding you. After he has sex with you, he doesn't find an excuse for him to leave or go somewhere.
what? He's hanging out with you. Y'all up all night talking, wherever the case may be, together. In the bed, chilling, vibing. For hours after they already had sex. He doesn't have the excuse to go home. That's how you know when a nigga really cares about you. There's other things too, but those are two things right there that really show you if a guy really cares about you and respects you. Bad He's saying some dumb shit, bro. We don't play about the bag. And we don't play, listen, what, what a man is in Your intentions are in for the wrong reason. It has nothing Make to do with money, know. bro. Y'all y'all telling girls all this poisonous you shit, know. bro. What the fuck? He gonna cut that check. He do. No, he he's not, bro. He's gonna cut the check if he really Demon. wants to fuck you. That's what that's what it is. I didn't hear none of these bitches say nothing about a, a nigga's he's morals, morals responsibility, he's respectful. If he's respectful, yeah, always. Have if he, life. if have ex, none of that shit. If he's gonna have be a good father back. to my children, the only none of that shit. That I know. All I heard was money, money, know, money, clothes. So much. The only women and money. I know the that fuck? say they want a man to take care of them and not work is women who never had. It. Women who have never had a man financially be responsible for their every That's true. given. She was saying, she was so spitting at everything. Out. She was spitting at first until she started saying some stupid shit, bro. Give them an allowance. Give them an allowance. And, and an allowance. An allowance. An allowance? What is this, a kid? A, a child? Person. You know why? I don't care. And when I say a job, the luxury of having a wealthy man is that what you're doing, you love. That's the only luxury. Do the, the crunching, gringing work of whatever it is that you don't like to do. You can go create your own job, start your own business. And well, there's a lot of love. luxury. It's the only the lazy. Of a nigga taking over oh. shit and you not having to worry about shit. To, even a lot of fucking more, luxury, bro. The, the fucking them. audacity, the no, fucking nerve, the fucking entitlement is crazy, bro. Is when the man gets tired, I'm going to tell you something right now. When I start a relationship, I have nothing to offer, let's say, but what? who I am, my family, my friends, and whatever it is that go that's going on around me. But what what do you mean when you say who I am? Who are you? That's what we want to know. Who are you? Are you respectful? Are you responsible? Are you feminine? Are you gonna suck the the, the skin the hair off my balls? See those McDonald's spoons that when we were kids they were really spoons and we thought they were straws. We would suck on them. Pause. Like I want you to try to suck. The, the milkshake through that shit. It's like nearly impossible, but I want you to suck it that hard. Are you gonna suck my dick like that because I'm your man? Are you gonna put some food in my stomach? Are you gonna make sure I'm not stressed? Are you gonna take care of me mentally? Like, are you gonna be there for me? Are you gonna be reliable to my business? Oh, am, I gonna, am, I, am I gonna be able to trust you? Am I gonna be able to come home 90% of the time and it's not gonna be stress? I'm already fighting the world. I'm not trying to fight my girl. As a man, bro, we wake up every day fighting the world, bro. It's competitive every day to make money. Every fucking day. So we can provide for our families, bro. Women don't have to really deal with that as much, especially on a financial level, that men do. The last thing I wanna do is come home and fight with my fucking girl when I'm already waking up fighting the fucking world. I'm fighting against the odds making these YouTube videos. I'm fighting against the odds trying to get getting my license back, getting on a legal, be, being legal. I'm fighting right now. No, I, I'm I'm fighting a lot of shit. The last thing I want to do is come is come home or, or go to my girl's place. I don't have a girl, but let's say if, if I did, and have to fight her, bro. I'm not going into no relationship with friends or men as a slime person, grimy. I have an agenda with you because at the end of the day, I don't feel like nobody can give me what I want. And true happiness, nobody money. can give me that but you. You understand what I'm trying to say? So money. I don't need to get that from some, nobody else. Therefore. When you stay, for example, Dr. J's situation, like you said, and she turned out to be this woman, I cannot name you the type of fetishes these men with money have that, what? that at the cost of a lot of lives around them, not just the woman that they're with, but a lot of people that they're around. And with that being said, when you're a person, a lot of people are not strong enough to leave people that they know they have access to that have power it's hard to give up on that because you feel like you have access to that type of power so when you finally give up on that you have to come full force because you already know the type of person that person this is. goes back to life changing and game changes bro are you, you just expose yourself the only reason why you're with the nigga is because of what he can provide bro she literally just snitched on herself bro that had everything that she said mentioning what she wants in a man had to do with money 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 clothes 
and family man. If you really cared about the man just as much, whatever he had to provide, you're not gonna feel like you need to, that it's hard for you to let go because of the power or you being addicted off of that because that's not why you love them in the first place. You love them for him. So when he starts tweaking, you can leave because he started tweaking. But instead of this, you didn't love him for him. You loved him for what he was able to give you, the lifestyle, the luxury, the access to excess. You were drunk off of that shit. So him tweaking is like, I don't really care if he tweaks, like I could take it, but I just wanna be able to hold on to the luxury. It's not easy for you to let go because you're drunk off of that shit. Bro, this, this shit is some sad shit, bro. Like if you really sit and think about it, it's some, it's really, it's really some sad shit that these women said nothing about integrity, mentality, morals, respectful, responsible, um, is he gonna be able to take care of my children? Is he clean? Is he gonna be able to? Is he is he willing? Is he willing to 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 risk his life for me and my kids? Is he will? Is he is he a provider? Like like they didn't say none of that. All they said was money, 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 clothes, and family man. Oh yeah, and more money. That's all I fucking heard. I'm done ranting, bro. Peace out, pot to be like always. Oh, this is watch my from Knowledge Dream. Sign out. We got another video. If you're not following news, what are you doing? I'm out. Peace. Four.